And so it sounds like education was definitely something that was very important for you. Yeah. Um, what drove you to keep going down the path of, mm. of, of the education route? I guess when I first started here raising the awareness about 25, 28 years ago, there were people before me. There were if um, there's a uh, there was a lady if Wadokwino. She started all the movement and all the work around FGM in the 80s early 80s but unfortunately she died about four years ago I was with her in Nigeria to do a scoping visit to see how big the problem was in Nigeria shortly before she died Mm. Um, there were people like um, Shamiz Diris, Shamiz Diris is from Somalia she and Ifwa worked together in early 80s um, because what was happening was that people were presenting to different parts of the hospitals mm-hmm. with FGM related problems mm-hmm. and the doctors, the nurses, the midwives, they Didn't know, know what, what to do. To do. And they were looking at these, um, the, the FGM as some abnormalities, okay. right? That, oh, these Africans have got these abnormalities, yeah. especially during childbirths where you have um, type 3 FGM, where yeah. everything is closed, Just, leaving a tiny wow. opening. And when you're coming in labor, yeah. there's no way to assess, to see oh, if wow. you're even in labor. Yeah. And when I started working at, uh, uh-uh, we need to change this. Yeah attitude and this mindset and we need to educate the professionals Mm -hmm. because the professionals didn't have a clue at all and hence the education and hence need to work with home office need to work with um Oh, the government as yeah. well, um, the police, yeah. um, as well as um, safeguarding because it's child abuse, yeah. number one, and also it's about safeguarding girls who might be at risk, yeah. as well as safeguarding the mothers as well who comes to our care. So. I see. And so is that how the unit in St. Guys in Guys and St. Thomas was opened up in the first no, place? No, no. How the guys and St. Thomas is started, I was working, I did my training at North Mid, um, and I work at North Middlesex for about 10 years. Yeah. And um, how this is so interesting. And working at um, North Middlesex Hospital, where I did my midwifery training, working there for about 10 years. I needed to progress, obviously. Mm -hmm. I needed to have more senior posts. And I did apply for more senior posts at at North Middlesex Hospital, which I didn't get, obviously. Mm -hmm. Again, those were the challenges as a black woman. Then um, you have people that you've trained. They they were your student. They've come in into the system. You've trained them. And And all of a sudden, they climb the ladder and you still. So I just... I was getting really frustrated and say it's time to move on. Mm-hmm. But then my kids were still little then. Mm-hmm. I think then they were like oh five and six or something. And I discussed with my husband, I'm like, I need to move on, but I didn't know what to do. And fortunately, this is true story. Fortunately, I tend to look at the nursing times, you know, for new job, the mm-hmm, magazine mm-hmm. and all that. And I'll flick through them, put them on the dining table. And there was this particular one. I bought it, put it on the dining table. My husband flicked through it, saw the guys on St. Thomas's posts um, mm-hmm. saying they're looking for somebody to set up FGM clinic. Okay. And then my husband was like, you've done so Perfect much you, work yeah. around this. Why don't you apply for this job? So how many years experience would you say you had here before you moved on to that? To uh, um, 10 years, ten at, years. Okay, at, so Saint, you... at um, North Middlesex Hospital. Yeah. Yes, okay. definitely before moving to Guys and St. Thomas's. Okay, okay. So it was like, I didn't want to apply because I was thinking it's too far. Yeah. Having young kids, Our kids and, and yeah. being in North Anyway, London, yeah. to quote it short, my husband was the one that ap- got the application form because mm. I didn't want to apply. Yeah. So I got the form and I got the job. I and see. I've been working at Guys and St. Thomas's for 20 years. Yeah. So, um, and I set up the clinic there. Okay. 